please subscribe and you can download this code from description below. In this tutorial, we will explore how to use the pool.map function from the multiprocessing module in Python to parallelize tasks that require passing more than one argument to the map function. We will specifically cover the scenario of passing a generator and a set or list as arguments to the map function. Before we begin, ensure that you have a basic understanding of Python and the multiprocessing module. You should also have Python 3.x installed on your system. Pool.map is a method provided by the multiprocessing module for distributing tasks across multiple processes. It works in a similar way to the built-in map function but leverages multiple processes to execute tasks concurrently, making it suitable for parallelizing CPU-bound operations. When using pool.map, it's straightforward to pass a single argument to the map function. However, when you need to pass more than one argument, you can use the iteratools.zip underscore longest function to combine multiple iterables into a single iterable, which is then passed as a single argument to the map function. Let's consider a scenario where you want to perform some operation on a data set represented as a generator and a set or list, and you want to do this in parallel using pool.map. The pool.map function requires a function and an iterable as arguments. We will show you how to combine the generator and set slash list into a single iterable and pass it to the map function. Create a function that takes the combined iterable as its argument. This function will perform the desired operation on the data. Here's an example task function that calculates the sum of elements in a generator and a set. Generate a sample data set as a generator and a set, and combine them into a single iterable using zip underscore longest. Create a pool of processes to parallelize the task. Pass the task function and the combined data to pool.map to parallelize the operation. Don't forget to close the pool and retrieve the results. Finally, you can display the results obtained from the parallel execution. Here's the complete example. In this example, we've shown how to use pool.map to parallelize a task that requires passing a generator and a set, or list, as arguments to a function. You can adapt this pattern to other scenarios where you need to pass multiple arguments to a map function for parallel execution. Chat GPT Certainly. In Python, you can use the multiprocessing module to parallelize tasks, and the pool.map function is a common way to do this. To pass more than one argument to the function you're mapping with pool.map, you can use the adhere tools module to create an iterable that contains tuples of arguments. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to pass a generator, a set, and a list as arguments to a function using pool.map from the multiprocessing module. Let's start with a step-by-step -step guide and provide code examples for each case. First, you need to import the necessary modules, multiprocessing for parallel processing, it here tools for creating the argument tuples, and any other modules you may need for your specific task. You should define the function that you want to parallelize. This function should accept multiple arguments. Next, create an iterable of argument tuples using it here tools. You can prepare different types of arguments such as a generator, a set, or a list. You need to create a multiprocessing.pool object to manage the parallel execution of your function. The number of processes you create in the pool should be based on your system's capabilities and the specific requirements of your task. Now, you can use pool.map to apply your function to the argument tuples in parallel. After you've executed your function with pool.map, don't forget to close the pool and gather the results. That's it. You've now learned how to pass more than one argument to a function using pool.map with different types of data, generator, set, list. You can adapt this approach to your specific parallel processing needs. ChatGPT